Hello guys, Lindy Berry here. I just wanted to give you guys an update because it's been like a year, I think. It's been a really long time. <laughs> anyway, so here's the deal. I had the gastric sleeve about a little over a year ago, back in November of 2017, and I lost about 45 pounds. Um, I had 100 pounds to lose, okay? So, this is the nitty gritty that nobody tells you about weight loss surgery, and that is that it doesn't work. <laughs> really. Um, yeah, I think I might make that my title, give a little clickbait in there, because it doesn't, it doesn't actually work by itself, and that's the key. People say it's a tool. Okay, I had a lot of people tell me that weight loss surgery was a tool, and I thought I knew what that meant, but here's what it really means, okay? I'm just going to tell it to you straight up. What the studies don't tell you is that they aren't really following the people that fail. What the doctors don't tell you is that they aren't really following the people that fail. And what I was told was that as long as I wasn't drinking milkshakes, I would not fail. That I would lose at least 60% of my weight and keep it off long term. That that's what the study showed people with weight loss surgery did, okay? Well, um, that wasn't the case for me. One year after surgery, last uh, November, I was at 40, 45 pound weight loss um, and I had been stuck there for probably about six months. I lost most of my weight in the first six months and that was pretty much directly related to eating protein first, which is what my doctor had told me to do, and directly related to having a teeny tiny tummy. So um, what surprised me though is that I stopped. I stopped actually at about 40 pounds and I, um, I then, sorry, I just had kids coming in. Go, 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 go. The life of a mom. Can't even record a video. <laughs> anyway, so I had stopped at about 40 pound weight loss. And so I was like, you know what? Enough with this. If you don't eat, drink milkshakes, you're going to succeed, you know? I was like, I need to whip my butt in gear and um, treat this seriously because this was my last ditch attempt at losing weight, you know? I know you know what I mean because we've tried everything, right? And if this failed, then what else is there left but to just die an early death, basically, right? I mean, depressing, but that was how I felt. And I know you guys understand. But um, anyway... So I whipped my butt in gear and I did what, there's always those hardcore people on um, social media that say that, you know, you, you, you got to really, you know, just eat protein. You got to eat low, you know, low carb. You got to change the way you eat in order to lose weight, even with weight loss surgery. And I didn't fully believe them. And the reason why is because I could only eat a few bites at a time. You know, I could only eat these small little meals. I would get full. But what nobody tells you is that your little tummy, even though it technically shouldn't be able to stretch out, it feels like it does. I still can't eat. I mean, I'm almost at two years now, almost. And I still can't eat as much as I used to eat. Not even close. But you adapt. You eat smaller amounts in each sitting but you spread it out, you know, and you, you eat more throughout the day, a lot more grazing, a lot more. Um, and the junkier the food is, the more it fits in your little pouch. Nobody tells you that either. That things like, uh, like raw carrots, right, will make you feel really full, right? But something like um, toast with, with butter on it, you know, you, you eat it and you can't even hardly feel it, right? So then you, you could eat like a bunch of it. Um, so anyway, I kicked my butt in gear. I went on to keto, to the keto diet, did, uh, what is that? Low carb and high fat, and I loved it. I loved it, loved it. Um, 
Anyway, I highly recommend it if you want to try an eating plan. Uh, but after, excuse me. Anyway, my weight gain stopped. I don't think I mentioned that. It started to gain weight. Um, I had maintained that about 40 pound weight loss and then I had started to gain weight. Um, and so anyway, with keto, I started to lose weight again and I lost about five pounds, not a huge amount, but I was losing, not gaining. And I did find, honestly, it was a lot easier to do with a smaller stomach. So, so far, no regrets. And so I got to about 45 pounds and I stayed there while eating keto for a long time, months, I'm talking months and months. And I was like, oh, finally, I was like, when did I get your butt in gear? So I kicked my butt in gear again and was super strict keto and I gained weight. Guys, I was super strict keto and I gained weight. And I know that there are some keto enthusiasts out there that will say I probably should have counted my calories or I should have, um, there's a lot of things I could have done. I know because I searched them all up. Um, but in my searching, I found something called bright line eating. And it has turned out to be a blessing and a half. It has been everything I was looking for. Honestly, I wish, I wish I had found it before I'd had surgery. Not because I wouldn't have gotten surgery. I might have still gotten surgery. I don't really know. I don't know if I would have. But because um, I really do feel like my smaller stomach helps me in so many ways. I just, I really like it. I like getting full because I used to have such a huge appetite. But with bright line eating, I am losing weight again faster than I've ever lost. Guys, faster than I lost after having weight loss surgery. So it's really a way to, it's really a way of eating that I recommend highly, especially for someone who's been who's a hundred pounds overweight, you know? Because we're not your average eaters. We're not your average uh, eating problem. We are much more complex than that. And Bright Lane Eating is designed by a neuroscientist. Uh, Susan Pierce Thompson, who seriously specializes in that and in the brain pathways and what's going on. And if you read her book, if there's, you can buy her book on Amazon, um, Bright Line Eating by Susan Pierce Thompson. She details all these fantastic studies, like legit studies. Sorry, all these dumb notifications. Anyway, all these legit studies that... Um, that really explain the more complex person that we are. So anyway, I just want to push you guys that way because now I have lost 65 pounds and I'm still dropping. And I went and I got my body scanned and I've gained muscle. So I've lost more fat than just the 65 pounds because I've also gained muscle and I apparently only have about 25 pounds of excess body fat left to go before I'm right size. So I don't really have anybody in here that can show you what I look like, but I'm just gonna do like a, okay. So I'm in a size 12 pants now, size medium top, and I am kind of hard to show you guys, but I am seriously a lot smaller than I used to be. 65 pounds down guys and I feel great and I know it's been a long time but the truth is this isn't a magic it's not a magic show it's not a magic pill it's not a magic surgery it's a lifelong journey for me but for the first time in my life I'm not gaining weight for the first time in my life I'm satisfied after I'm done eating um, for the first time in my life I feel like I'm gonna to get to a normal size. I haven't been this small, as small as I am, since, oh my gosh, guys, it's been so long. I think my 15 year old was born last time I was this size. Um, yeah, I feel good, guys. I feel good. I feel really good. 
Anyway, check out Bright Line Eating. And I still highly recommend the gastric sleeve, but I do not recommend only the gastric sleeve. Have a plan in place for how you're going to change your eating because it will not magically work unless you're a really special person. I, I am special, <laughs> not that special. So anyway, um, if, <laughs> if you've struggled as long as I have to find the answer, I'll tell you that is the answer. Bright line eating and the gastric sleeve were like beautiful. And I would put bright line eating at the top of that list because I would try it first. Maybe you don't even need surgery. Maybe I didn't need it. I'll never know. But I'm really grateful to be where I am today. And I'll update you again when I finally get this last 25 pounds off. All right, signing out guys.